What's up, Android fans? Techme is back with another app roundup. So let's get to it. All right, our first app of the day is a lock screen by GoLocker. It's called Sira GoLocker. S I R A Sira. So just to unlock it, you just have to slide it to unlock. You can even press the phone button and then slide to go straight to the phone. Messages, browser, and you can add your own stuff like I added the alarm clock and YouTube. So it's pretty simple, nice little locker theme by Go Locker, Sierra Locker. Next up, next up we have Pocket. Pocket is basically read it later, which is revamped. Okay, here we have Pocket. These are all the what is this a list of uh, links that I've pocketed basically added to my read it later account so I can read it off without even having a network connection so all these are stored in my pocket basically pocket right and you can you can go to your home your favorites and your archive archive is the stuff that you've already read and then you can even have the display into all items articles videos or images so suppose I have already read this item and I just want to delete it off my pocket. I can just hold it down and here we go. We can either tag it, check button and that will be archived that's read. You can share it or you can delete it and you can even favorite it. I can even press the menu button up, up here on the right top corner. Press settings and go to settings and I can go to login or whatever. I seriously suggest having a pocket account or read it later account. And bulk edit is basically you can highlight the stuff you want and then I can favorite it, I can archive it, I can delete it, and I can tag it. Right? So I don't want to do that. So that's pocket. Next up we have Stitcher. Stitcher is basically a radio app. Okay, here we have Stitcher all loaded up. So here we have on demand shows, live radio, front page, and my favorites. Let's go to my favorites first. Here we can just add whatever station you want to your favorites. So I've added a couple. And there you go. So I can just click on one of them and it'll start loading up. So here we have it loading up. Okay. And you can even go down here. Listeners also like other stuff similar to this. And then you can even go to part past episodes from this radio station. Okay, let's go to front page. And here we have in headlines right over there what's hot and what's new, right? Suppose I like one of these articles. I just press play and it'll start playing. Boom. Right? So it's really nice little app. You can go to favorite, you can add it to your favorite and all that stuff. So that's Stitcher. Next up. Live radio station, right? Next up we have Hey Check. Okay, here we have Hey Check. This is basically a photo sharing app. It links with your Facebook and Instagram account. Down here we have my feeds from Facebook and Instagram, popular and profile. Let's go to popular. So popular you have all these pictures from Instagram and uh, not really Facebook but just Instagram. Okay so here I have a picture of my laptop and my iPad or whatever so I can write a title to that it takes a nice little picture and I can add effects right really nice little carousel of effects I like that. So select that effect and we can even go to more effects over here Put in some colors in the background, right? Let's leave it at that. We can even have add a border right there. And we don't want all these fancy borders. Let's go to a simple one. This one's okay. All right, so let's select this and let's title it My Tech. And let's like it. So we can choose an expression whether we want we are happy about it or whatever. So let's click that and all right. Done. So that was Hey Check. Next up we have Pick Push. Pick Push is basically for up uploading pictures and other stuff. Okay, so this is Pick Push. We have accounts right here, uploads and preferences. We can add a new account, and there you go. We can add a Facebook, Flickr, gallery, photo bucket, Picasso, Shutterfly, Smug Mug. All these accounts. All right. Let's cancel that. So I have an account on Shutterfly. Let's go to Uploads. Here we have, we press the menu button and we go to Find New. What this does is finds new photos in particular folder. So let's go to Wallpapers or something like that. Let's go to Awesome Wallpaper, all right? 
and let's click OK. So load up the pictures, and there you go. It's loaded up the pictures, and I can see which ones. So these are the pictures that I had in that folder that I haven't uploaded yet. I can either click send all and it'll upload all of them, or I can click on each individual picture and send or remove, right? So that's really nice, pick push for uploading lots of photos to all your online storage or photo accounts. All right, next up. Next up we have Zeit. Zeit is basically a newsreader. Okay, so here we have Zeit all loaded up. We can flick to different sections, top stories, gadgets, gaming, and all that stuff. Uh, we can even go to different sections from here too. And we can even go to my Twitter and Google Reader account. So let's go to one of the stories. We have all the stories vertically lined up. Let's go to Samsung Galaxy S3 review. Click on it and there you go. We have the story loaded up, nice little neatly done and we can read it, right? We can click like it and it'll show us more stories like this. We can even share it and add it to pocket and all that stuff, okay? And we can even click here and we can have icons to large and now we can even read it even more clearer. So that's, uh, what is this, Zite, yeah. Nice little reading app for news update and all that stuff. Next up we have Evernote. Evernote is basically a note taking app, tasks app, whatever you want to call it. So here we have this home screen, right? We can flick it and we have new note, snap a picture and add it to a note, audio, take audio and add it to a note, attach other files, okay? And we, let's go here. And we here we have my account, my tags, and different places okay so we can go we can add uh, notes by places as well so we have here notebooks tags places and all that stuff so let's go to add a new note and here uh, right over here you can paste stuff you can check into places right down there you can check into places you can attach stuff you can even uh, what is this bold edit and all that stuff right you can even Click right there, and it takes to, takes you to Sketch. Sketch is another app made by Evernote. Here we have Sketch, so we can just write something, and we can go add it to Evernote. Okay, and there you go. It's added to Evernote. So we have the note already and loaded up, all saved up basically. So if you, here we have. Let's go to Notes, and there you go. That's the note that we just made. We have another note that I had made earlier using Sketch. So nice little app for storing. Uh, disadvantage if ever known is basically you can only upload 60 MB of notes that's just 60 megabytes and uh, you can't do more than that unless you get a premium account so that's the bad part about Evernote so here we have Evernote nice app very popular syncs with your notes on iPad on iOS devices as well as Android and other stuff so nice little app next up we have AnyDo AnyDo is basically tasks that I've done a review on this before and it's a really nice little app really clean UI okay so here I have stuff to do tasks to do I can move this up and down boom right and I have tomorrow and I have later this week right so I can even suppose I want to add a new note like let's add buy milk and now I can even share it with other any do users I can remind me add a reminder to myself okay and there you go 3 p.m. or whatever Right? and date it and I can even add notes to this and I can add prioritize it I can cross it if I'm done and there you go it's done it's crossed out right down there right you can cross this one too so that's really nice it syncs with your Gmail account so that's even better so that's any do tasks app best tastic test what is this tasking app all right, next up we have Grocery IQ. Grocery IQ is basically a list of groceries which syncs up with other iOS devices and Blackberry stuff. So suppose I have a, a, a list of grocery that I want to add. Suppose, so we have a list of grocery, Pepsi, bread, cinnamon, toast crunch, and all that stuff, right? Um, suppose I want to add some, something. I just click the plus button and I start typing. What do I want? Let's add Pop-Tarts, okay? So I add pop and it says it gives me suggestion. I want pop tarts. Okay? And it gives me even the boxes and the picture and all that stuff. Okay? Suppose I want to add this one. And there you go, it's added. Okay? Now what this does, it syncs up with my iPad 
uh, with my what is it, grocery IQ on my iPad and my wife's phone which is an iPhone so that's really nice I can add stuff she can add stuff it's a really nice little app so here we have the list of stuff here we have favorites stores that we need to go and we want to buy stuff and we have coupons so really nice little app grocery IQ all right next up next up the last app of the day is PixArt Viewer PixArt Viewer is basically a photo a gallery app let's go to it and there you go so we have the gallery all loading up right so this is my gallery that I have on my phone but I can even go to my Facebook gallery or I can go to Flickr right over here and I can even add more stuff right over there I can add Picasa I can add Google Plus I can even add my Dropbox account so the light, nice little gallery which syncs with your online photo sharing galleries so that's what is this PixArt viewer really nice little app if you're wondering what this home screen is it's Launcher Pro with Dream Life Lux I have a link down below it's pretty easy to install and the clock I'm using is basically called Bob Clock D3 all right, that's it for now. Don't forget to hit that like button. Like it, favorite it, helps me out a ton, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is it, Tech and Me signing out. Shoo! Tech and Me, Tech and Me, Tech, tech and Me. <laughs>